Hey guys, welcome to today's class uh, for math. I uh, posted on the stream of the Google Classroom the answers to last night's homework, um, so you can check those over. Instead of giving you an entrance task today, uh, it'll take a little bit longer to do the notes, so I figured I'd start writing in the notes on page 8 in your packet. If you uh, don't have the packet printed, then obviously just use a uh, paper is fine. Um, so as the rest of the packet has been largely the same as algebra, it'll be no difference for word problems. It kind of works very similar the same way. Um, the difference when we used um, equations with word problems was that we found an equal sign. We tried to say this amount is equal to this amount in the problem where there was one unknown. Now it'll just be instead of one side equal to the other, it'll be that one side is less than or greater than or less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So that's really going to be the only difference. So let's go over some of those things that you um, hopefully remember from the algebra unit with word problems. First is just our strategy of how we attack the word problem. You remember that word problems in general, just any word problem, really even in other subjects, you want to first read it, the whole problem. After we read it, we're going to underline the question or if I do this, questions, it could be plural. All right. And then we're going to go ahead at that point and we're going to circle the important information because after you underline what the question you have a better idea of what you're looking for that's important and uh, really the three and four it could go either either order for three and four is then you write your answer statement and a lot of times you'll leave a blank for your answer and then you'll go back in and then you'll write whatever your answer is on that line after you're done solving okay but this is a good way when you have a complicated problem because if you're like me sometimes with word problems or if I get directions on how to build something to get home sometimes I got to read it like six or seven times if I uh, try to underline and, and circle some important stuff, I can focus my mind a little bit better to really try to get figure out what we have for the task at hand. All right, as far as algebra, how algebra is going to work with a word problem, remember that we'll always need a let statement. And the let statement is different than the answer statement, although they are usually pretty close to the same thing because a lot of times what you're looking for is the unknown and in algebra we let x stand for the unknown. All right, So a lot of times you'll say let x equal whatever you're looking for, whatever that unknown is. You know, If it's x is the amount of money you need to make in summer jobs, then you'd say let x be the amount of money you need to make in summer jobs if that was the word problem. You're trying to figure out how much money you need to make over the summer for something. Okay, and then after you have your let statement, now write your equation, or in this unit, it won't be an equation, it'll be your inequality. Okay, so those two in orange over there, those ones are, are really your specific to algebra and math class. The, the rules in green for word problems will work for any class. All right, so let's put an example down. Um, example one. Let's say to write down. Tommy went to the fair with 
<laughs> time we went to the fair with he wrote that down twice twenty dollars in his pocket and I know some of you guys probably read that as Tommy went to the fair with twenty dollars in his pocket if it cost nine dollars to get in and a dollar fifty per ride how many rides can Tommy afford that's our word problem a little sloppy sorry for the cross out there so we just read the whole problem to underline the question it's right here how many rides can Tommy afford okay so they're talking about we don't know how many rides and afford means it's gonna involve money well some of the important information he had twenty dollars in his pocket to start with cost nine dollars to get in and a dollar fifty have to make like a half circle here a dollar fifty per ride that's important dollar fifty per ride uh, that circle goes together there okay so my answer statement would be down at the bottom here Tommy can afford to go on blank rides all right so we did the whole regular part so now I'm very very focused on what I'm trying to accomplish here and again I, I made it pretty straightforward. You've all seen word problems that have all the extra information in it and try to confuse you. This can really help you for those more confusing problems as well. So now it's time for the let statement. So it's going to be the unknown thing. That's the number of rides. So I'm going to say let x equal the number of rides. You guys say hashtag number of rides, but it's going to stand for the number of rides. You can write out number if you like. Now the last thing to do is I'm going to write my inequality now. I'm ready to write my inequality. If you remember from before when we had an equation, I said if you had a total, it's a good idea to put a total on one side. Well, the total is kind of, this, in this case, going to be Tommy's starting point. $20. Now, pay attention to this. This can really help by putting some, this part I'm going to put in um, red. Uh, we got purple here. Try to do something that stands out in purple. Sometimes you can have these verbal statements above that can help you figure out which way you're going to put your inequality. This is the money he has. Okay, $20. On the other side is going to be the money he spends. Now, if you got cash, not talking about credit card here, and Gary the Gator is going to chomp the bigger thing, can you spend more money than you have? Can Gary chomp and you can spend more money than you have? No. It would have to be the other way, right? You have to have enough money. The money you have has to be more than you spend. Or you could say equal because you could spend every last penny and spend all your money. But the inequality be, would be that way because the money that you spend has to be less than or equal to the money you have. If not, you're going to be borrowing money from someone or using a credit card. So let's account for the money that he spends here. Well, he spent um nine dollars to get in plus a dollar fifty dollar fifty what dollar fifty per ride well our let statement x was how many rides you can go on so it's going to be dollar fifty times every single ride he goes on that's going to be x amount of rides so algebra can do the hard part now where if we can find out what the value of that x is we can figure out how many rides we can afford to go on so we end up here taking away nine from both sides, getting a dollar fifty. X is less than or equal to eleven. Now we have to get rid of the dollar fifty times x. You guys know the opposite of um, divide or sorry, the opposite of multiplying by a dollar fifty is dividing by a dollar fifty. 
both sides. And you just get out a calculator and type that in. And you end up getting that 11 divided by a dollar 50 is seven and a third or 7.3 repeating. Now, can you go to the fair and go on a third of a ride? No. So it says the number of rides is less than or equal to seven and a third rides. Since you can't go on a third of a ride, the first number that would work would be seven. You can go on seven or less rides, so you can afford up to seven rides to go on. So that's your answer. All right, so um, that's a, just a quick reminder on how to use the um, algebra with word problems, so in this case with inequalities here. So the problems for you to try would be the problems on page 9. If you have it printed out, that's fine. If not, you can work on a separate sheet of paper. Um, looking at the problems right here, you can pause the, the video if you like. Um, but yeah, just trying these word problems um, with let statements right here. So go ahead and try those ones. We'll go over them tomorrow and I'm gonna hopefully in the next day or two hopefully the YouTube live feature will work and I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright, have a good day.